Hello, we're back. Oh boy, chapter <laughs> one, section faces. three. Um, the religion <laughs> issue just isn't going away. Nope. We can see the twin Martin Luther brothers, <laughs> Martin Luther King right here, yeah. and Martin Luther, his name. He had a dream, just like a, just like his brother. That's right. So this uh, this chapter is all about the uh, the Protestant Reformation. So there's problems with the Catholic Church, and Martin Luther is going to break away, and Martin Luther King. Um, <laughs> will be named after him, but different time period. So, causes of the Reformation, some of these we mentioned in uh, the previous video, but Catholic Church was just too interested in that secular or worldly power, um, taking all that money and using it for themselves. The printing press, um, the spreading of ideas, so essays, works could be spread out to the masses. Um, these merchants who were in the north, um, especially in Italy, uh, resented paying taxes um, you know, to Rome. And some other territories or states, especially Germany, were not united. So it was really difficult for the pope, as a central authority, to have power over these groups that weren't together. Okay. Yeah. And it continues, though. <laughs> Many <laughs> of these costs. church leaders were corrupt, so using that money for bad um, bad things. Um, the popes spent money for their own pleasure, so not just their crowns and their, I don't know, new horse and buggy, um, gambling, alcohol, and the wars, like the Crusades. And many of these priests um, had children, and many of them couldn't read. And so many people were like, you're supposed to be sort of separate from us, and so you shouldn't be partaking in these there should be no wild bounce, shenanigans bounce, bounce. exactly mm -hmm. um and it's kind of weird if the pr priests couldn't be educated how could they be teaching the people yeah like teachers yeah exactly i didn't go to school <laughs> uh, at the age of 21 uh, young martin luther uh, almost died in a terrible thunderstorm there's no uh no uh google maps or earth <laughs> or anything like that so he was all, off all far away and he thought he was going to die in a thunderstorm. He shouted out, St. Anne, save me, I'll become a monk. And he kept his word. He became a monk, and he's going to change the world. Um, so he was he was a, had a problem with the selling of indulgences, um, which basically allowed um, a sinner to pay for their sins instead of putting in the time and effort. Like literally praying. pay, give money. Yeah. Pay instead of pray. And he didn't think that was right, so... He was bothered by this. Uh, there was a particular friar that was selling indulgences uh, where he lived. So Martin Luther's going to do something about it. So back to the printing press. He posts these 95 theses. Um, a thesis is essentially just, like it says, a formal statement or his concerns um, about what the church is doing. So he posts them on the castle door. Um, they're spread around. And before you know it, people are listening and interested and they begin debating um and then there's so to said copied his words and all around germany people are questioning the church because of martin luther's um sort of 95 ideas yeah so when my children want to go trick-or-treating on october 31st we instead read the 95 theses oh <laughs> so i'm a great dad you are sounds sounds fabulous so luther's teachings uh, people can win salvation they can be saved only by having faith in god's forgiveness not by indulgences so no ping paying to get out of your sins. All the church teachings should be based on the Bible. Um, the Pope is not the word of God. He's not the word of Jesus. He's um, just a man. Yeah, just a man, baby. Um, so he's a false authority. Um, and all people that have faith are equal in the eyes of God. And you don't need the priest to interpret the Bible. Now that there's a printing press, you can read it yourself. yourself. Yeah, exactly. So what does the Catholic Church do? Of course, excommunicated him. We said if you go against the church, you're done. Um, so he's condemned as an outlaw, and essentially anybody who tries to help him, um, give him food, shelter, um, could also face excommunication and maybe even an interdict, depending on the severity of the situation. You so. are allowed to kill Luther without any punishment because he was such a wanted man. But they won't do it. <laughs> nope. Luther's followers will form their own group um, known as Lutherans or Protestants. Well, that makes sense. Because they're protesting the Catholic Church. Eventually, they're going to come to a consensus with the Peace of Augsburg where every ruler in Germany could decide the religion of their state because the, Europe was at war with each other between Catholics and these Lutherans created a lot of problems, mm -hmm. a lot of fighting. So when you hear the word Protestant, it's going to include eventually all of these other religions that you've probably heard of before. We'll talk more about them in class, but protesting against the church, Catholic church. There was also protesting going on over in England. Oh, and, Henry VIII. Uh, Henry VIII was a devout Catholic. Um, he was a defender of the faith, according to the Pope. Hated Martin Luther. Mm -hmm. He was a good Catholic. 
But he wanted a boy. Wanted that son to carry on the family name. And eventually, <laughs> he's going to have many, many wives. Um, some of them he kills. Um, he's going to have children, um, eventually a son. But again, um, Henry is going to ask the Pope for a divorce because he has these women and he wants to have a son. And the Pope, unfortunately, is going to say no. Nope. Nope. Not going to do it. Oh, Henry. So Henry calls Parliament to pass laws to end the Pope's power in England, and eventually he marries six times. Um, divorced, beheaded, died. Yep. Divorced, beheaded. beheaded. Last one survived. Yes. All right, so his third wife gave him a Did son. Did I say eight in the last one? I think I was thinking Henry the Eighth. No, I think you said six. Okay. I don't know. Let's start <laughs> over. So his third wife gave him a son, Edward, but he died at the age of 15. Henry was still king. Um, what's Mary's nickname? Bloody Mary. Homework. Go in the bathroom. Yes. Turn so off the lights. Yeah, exactly. Say, Say her name Mary. three times. So Henry was Catholic, but then went to Protestant. Um, Edward was Protestant because the advisors wanted him to be, but Mary, Bloody Mary, um, was actually Catholic because she was raised a Catholic. She was one of um, Henry's first daughters. So she went on a terror trying to kill anybody who was a Protestant. So then when her sister Mary came in, she went back to Protestant. Flip flopping. So, Elizabeth will take over after they kill Mary. She rules 45 years. She's also Protestant and sets up the Church of England, the Anglican Church. All right, All that right. concludes Section 3, but don't worry. Section 4 we'll is coming back. up. Oh, Five, yeah. Four, three, two, one. Okay, <laughs> we're back. Section 4, the Reformation continues. Who's this handsome fella? Looks like Calvin. John Calvin, and he's going to actually spread Protestantism even more than Martin Luther. So, uh, John Calvin, um, another Protestant, and so he writes a book, uh, Institutes of the Christian Religion, and essentially um, a summary of the Protestant beliefs. So he takes Luther's ideas, um, and he kind of adds a few of his own. For example, predestination, which I think is kind of cool. Um, he says that God um, has known who is going to be saved. So you're sort of predetermined. So anything you really do doesn't... It doesn't really matter. Like, your life is sort of set for you. So it's kind of interesting. That's why I live a thug life, yeah. knowing that I'm already determined to go to heaven or hell. <laughs> it doesn't mean. matter. Um, so again, believes in a theocracy. So that means a government is controlled by these religious leaders. So maybe somebody like him or a priest um, or maybe even a bishop or something like that. But um, Geneva is was his experiment, right? Um, and he wanted to make this city run like this theocracy. And it was very strict there, no bright colors, no games. And, um, you know, he tried a little bit. Sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Calvinism spreads throughout Europe. Um, and again, these, these uh, Protestants will be persecuted throughout, mm -hmm. um, killed in large numbers. Um, by, by Catholics. By Catholics, yeah, crazy. just crazy. Religions killing, you know, religions. Ooh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> um, and we also have another group called the Anabaptists, which means baptized again. So the idea that when you're old enough to understand what it means, you can choose whether you want to be baptized into the church. Um, ideas that we have here in this country, you know, separating church and state, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's something that came from the Baptist, Anabaptists. People do this now, like refusing to fight or um, using religion as um, a reason to not do something. Mm -hmm. They shared their possessions. We'll talk about that later in the year with communism. Uh, later groups inspired by them, the Amish. Uh, the Mennonites, the Quakers, the Baptists, you might have heard of some of these names. Mm -hmm. But all of them were persecuted by both Catholics and, and Protestants. Protestants. Even within their own group, they were, you know, so the Catholic each other. So Catholic Church is losing membership fast, and they realize we got to clean up our church, or we're going to keep losing people. Yes. So they're going to have their own Reformation where they're going to make it better. They um, called this the Counter-Reformation. So they right. have the Reformation, then the Catholic Reformation, or the counter Reformation. So Ignatius Loyola um, is going to be, like says, their Spanish knight, and he's going to sort of be the, the figurehead for this new um, Reformation. And um, the Society of Jesus, also known as Jesuits, are going to be the followers, and they're essentially going to spread the word of Catholicism and sort of re-get people to join or to keep people who um, are already Catholic. Um, yeah, you just said oh, that. there we go. Members so of Jesuits. <laughs> their goal, start new schools throughout Europe, uh, work as missionaries, spread the word of God, convert people, and of course, stop the mm -hmm. spread of Protestantism. Um, so one of the popes, Pope Paul, um, is going to investigate um, the big issue with Martin Luther, those indulgences um, and these abuses of the church. And so they, that, they determined that the church's interpretation of the Bible was final um, and that Christians need faith also and good works to um, you know, be saved. Pope Paul IV um, created the Index of Forbidden Books. Ooh. Ooh. 
Um, they burned offensive books like the Protestant Bible. Um, in Venice, Italy, in one day, 10,000 books were That's burned crazy. in one day. Don't so. get any ideas, kids. <laughs> we need books. Especially one school, one book. Yeah. Uh, legacy of this Reformation, uh, Protestantism is flourishing. It's going to continue and, and, uh, and grow stronger and stronger, um, but it will unify the Roman Catholic Church. Um, education benefits, many new colleges, unfortunately women's rights, that's a far Sorry, away. Sorry, ladies. See, look at me, I'm, already, I'm all the way over here. He doesn't even let me in the shot. I don't know. Church's power <laughs> declines. Uh, kings are going to gain more power in this period. But people will start questioning things. Why does the king have all the power? Why is this this way? And So we're going to start questioning Leading beliefs. Leading to the Enlightenment. That's right. All right, that concludes Chapter right. 1, Section 4. See you, Chapter 3.